What's up guys, Coach Xavier here back from FBBC in Victorville. So I'm gonna be coming back with the last mobility and stretching video. So we talked about upper, we talked about lower, and now I'm gonna go into full body, how to kind of tie everything together. Something I like to do uh, for a warm up, or even if uh, you wake up right in the morning, it's a good way to start your day. So the first thing that I like to do is what's called a downward dog. So I get my arms about a little wider than shoulder width. Make sure you push those fingertips down to the floor hard. Okay, so I'm gonna show you from the side view here. So you bring the fingertips down. I open my legs about shoulder width apart. Okay, from here you're gonna push those hips up in the air. Push those cat or the heels down to the floor. Feel it in those calves. And you wanna push your body away with the pump. So here's a good full body stretch. Hold it here for about five seconds. Then you're gonna shift down. Okay, slowly start to come down. Okay, if you need to modify, you can bring the knees down too. And from here, I like to take my right leg in front just like this. Taking that right leg in front, okay, lean those hips in, push that knee out to the side, then you're gonna take that right arm up and twist. Okay, hold it here and take it down. So I like to do this five times. Twisting up, back down, twist up and back down. So I'll do that five times. Then from here, I'm gonna push back, straight, lean with my chest here, right? Target those hamstrings, lean back in, and back out, I'll do this five times as well. Then from there, we're gonna shift back into our downward dog, and right back on the other side. Same concept here. Now for left legs in front, we're taking that left arm up in the air now. Twist it, bring it back down. Okay, so again, doing five, then we'll take it down here, and go back and forth, five. Now, that's gonna be good for your, what's known as your T-spine, which is the middle of your back, your hips, hamstrings. So it's really gonna help target those areas, even the glutes. So that's what I like to do for that. And here's a, another full body stretch that I love to do. So you can take your legs about shoulder width apart. Depending on how tight you are, you might need to go a little wider. Sometimes I personally do, and I, I will angle out my feet. So you can come down here, all right? We'll come down here. So I like to grab my toes or the ankles, come up, lean with the chest, stretch out those hamstrings, coming back down to here. So I'll, I will do this about three to five times. Okay, it's a good way to mobilize your hamstrings, open up those hips. Then from there, okay, you can do it this way. If Again, if you're tighter, you might need to rest the forearms on top of the, the quads or inside of the knees. But if you have better mobility, you can take your palm right on top of that foot, and we're gonna twist up, opening up that chest. Then you're gonna rotate your palm around, bring it right behind you. Really open up those shoulders here. Now I'll switch it over to the other side. Get that arm up in the air, twist that palm, out to the back, bring it right behind you, open up those shoulders. Now this is something that I like to do there. I would do that about three to five times each on each side. Um, brace yourself, you might feel it a little bit in those legs, so definitely, but it's gonna help strengthen them up. It's gonna give you better flexibility, better mobility, and on top of that, better durability, so your muscles can handle a lot more during some exercises. So those are the things that I really like to do for full body, um, pretty simple pretty basic. Um, this is about a beginner's routine to try it out. And if you guys do want more, um, if there's anything else that you guys want me to touch on, please let me know. Put it in the comment section and I'll get right to you guys. But try these out and let me know what you think.